We're going to get started with our press conference and uh, we're going to have Mayor Dan Rivera kick us off this morning. Good morning, how are you guys doing? Everybody's doing good? Um, so we don't really like to spend a lot of money because we don't have a lot of money to spend. Um, and so we always think like money's the answer to everything too um, and that we need to do these big projects. Um, but Vilma and Teresa uh, came to me with this idea that some of these projects we don't need to get big money for, we just have to do little money and you can have a big impact. Um, and the good thing about this is that um, when you add it all together, it's not a lot of money either, it's, it, but it's significant in the projects that we have here. And it's going to support programs that we already love and support already um, to get them to do some just a little bit more. And I, you know, I'm really proud of this, this idea um, because we only have so much CDBG money. We only have uh, so much uh, free cash that we can use, and a lot of that money goes to just running the city. Um, so when we can do projects with Si Se Puede, and we can do thought projects with a little bit of thought, um, and, and, and support them in things that they want to do versus the things we want them to do. Because sometimes you guys write grants and you write grants because we want you guys to do something. But this is stuff that you guys want to do um, that you feel like you can have an impact in our community. And I think that that's a great way to, to go about it. I'm really excited about Mi Casita. Uh, you know, we, we've been, we've, we have a lot of hopes for that organization. So we look to see that this project is, hopefully this project will help that out. Um, so I'm going to stop talking because there's checks. Uh, and money, and I want to get out of the way. But thank you, thank you for being with us. All right, great. So, in order, because I don't want to go off on a tangent, I want to read the notes that I, do, I did prepare for today. But I, first of all, I just wanted to first thank the mayor for allowing us to um, really bring this uh, little project to fruition and uh, take the lead and make sure that the communities actually have an opportunity to do this work. I just wanted to recognize also Wanda Ortiz, who's here from Congresswoman Nikki Sanga's office. We're Thank you for your support you. because these are federal funds and really without uh, the support of our Congresswomen always fighting for our, for our city, we wouldn't be here. Uh, we're excited to introduce this new mini grant. Oh, by the way, my name is Vilma Martinez Dominguez. I'm the Community Development Director for the City of Lawrence. We're really excited to introduce this mini grant opportunity to our community um, to help residents and community leaders improve the quality of life in places that we live, learn, work, play, and worship. Capped at about $1,500 each, this program is intended really to support community-driven grassroots projects that promote community engagement and collaborations between groups and organizations across our city. The Neighborhood Innovation Mini Grant Program is funded by the City of Lawrence uh, U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development HUD, and it is particularly funded by the Community Development Block Grant (CDBG), which really aims to improve the quality of life of uh, low and in, uh, low to moderate income communities. These funds are critical, really critical in helping us develop a viable urban community, particularly for those who are low and moderate income, through decent housing through suitable living environment, which you, what you will see today, and really helping us expand economic opportunities for our, for, for our uh, population. All the neighborhood innovation grant projects must provide a physical, aesthetic, or social benefit to one or more of the Lawrence CDBG eligible neighborhoods, and really must benefit and be accessible to the general public, which is why you're doing a lot of those projects in public spaces. Collaborations of, with one or more community groups or organizations are highly encouraged, not only because you need to be a nonprofit uh, organization and have a 501c status, but also because we want to create new opportunities uh, for people to really come together, promote civic engagement and social cohesion, and establish really diverse partnerships. Money is one thing, but without people and uh, human capital, we really can't move forward. Some of the examples that you will see today that were qualified for this uh, community, uh, for this neighborhood innovation grant was uh, community gardens. So we have some of the organizations doing that work. Some garden initiatives, murals and other beautifications, playground, park or alleyway cleaning enhancements. Everyone that applied, those were the sort of the parameters. Today we're really happy to recognize nine project partnerships that will help uh, beautify our community with the input of residents. I'm gonna run down quickly of all the nine and just give you a gist of what each community is doing, which is 
truly amazing to think about you can do something like this with $1,500. Elevated thought. Their project's name is the Nature of Home Mural. And basically what they're gonna do is provide a work of art to already a, a, a vandalized wall uh, and the three, sur uh, three surrounding electrical bo uh, boxes for residents to enjoy and be inspired. This is around General Auto Supply, a place where, you know, in the community that it's quite a big wall, and so we need to beautify and hopefully inspire other residents to, you know, uh, join in the efforts and do other things. Si se puede, oh, I'm sorry, partners for this, because this is the thing. It's important that we highlight the partners. The Mayor's Hill Task Force Lawrence Youth Council, General Auto Supply, and the area neighbors. They actually met with everyone and are getting the input of the community on what that mural will look like. Si se puede, Merrimack Court's housing projects, beautification project, basically a lot of gardening, flower planting, cleanup, and painting and freshening up of the basketball court. This is important because Si se puede provides an amazing service to uh, our youth, uh, particularly in that uh, housing development. Community, and the partners are Aaron's Presents, e, e Keys for Cars, Groundwork Lawrence and Lawrence Housing Authority. The community group, the project is called Spruce Up uh, Bruce, and basically they're creating a series of outdoor murals for the northern side of the Bruce School building and surrounding fencing, which is part of the larger initiative that they're doing, and particularly because uh, about six months ago, maybe more than that, there was a fire um, that really rendered nearly half of the school inaccessible for, for kids. So just imagine what that little project will do to inspire the youth and the parents and the community around there. So the partners are the Bruce School, Lawrence Public Schools, and the Exchange Club of Lawrence. Lawrence Community Works, they're developing a new trash and recycling receptacle for the Newberry Street. And their key stakeholders, which is really the neighbor circles and a lot of the neighbors that live around that neighborhood, uh, residents and owners and obviously DPW because you need to make sure those receptacles meet the requirements you know uh, for our city and we can also address the issue of litter and trash which is the other thing. Lawrence Arts House, Chicas Al Frente, Girls Up Front, beautification and activation of the Miserville Park through an expressive art and series of workshops really aimed to create awareness around domestic violence, harassment, and uh, assault towards women and really it's a bunch of women coming together to reclaim the space with support from the youth that are there and the, and the residents that live nearby. The partners are the Marion Institute, Miserville Park Youth, Bicycle Company, and Groundwork Lawrence. Mi Casita is putting together Mi Tierra Terrarium with a goal to beautify the path of a standard Lawrence sidewalk really right at the El Taller. And what that will do is create habitat for plants, trees, and insects right around downtown, educate the community around the need for those things, but also encourage other business owners to engage in the similar behaviors. And finally, let me see, we have Lawrence Family Development, which they're going to be doing some clean, uh, cleaning, landscaping, and maintaining of the Tower Hill Rotaries at the five corners in Lower Tower Hill and Rose Hill by the Brew School. And some of the partners are Tower Hill Neighborhood Association and the Office of Representative Frank Moran. Groundwork Lawrence is uh, doing some uh, really needed uh, improvement for the Middle Street Community Garden Improvements. We have Luis Brujon here, who has really well known in that community. He does a lot of work around gardening, and he uh, actually educates community residents around how to do that and how to really uh, engage in those activities. And so they're going to be doing some improvements to ensure that it, uh, there's vinyl rain gutters, so that when the rain comes in from one part of the other to the other side of the of the garden, um, they can actually um, tap into that natural resource. And some of the partners there are obviously the area residents, which you will need in order to do this. And finally, Act Lawrence, which is the Arlington Breakfast Club. And they're gonna be doing some of the beautification around the Croning Park. They're gonna be installing a compost site and community garden, making some improvements to that. And their partners are Arlington Breakfast Club, Groundwork Lawrence, Roots Compost, and area residents. So you can see how many partners did I mention. Some of the partners overlap. And this is really what we want. We want to make sure that people come together to beautify our city. We're really excited about this new initiative and look forward to seeing the amazing beautification work that will result from these partnerships and as we continue in our ongoing efforts to create a more vibrant, thriving, livable, and healthy Lawrence. Thank you so very much. Uh, I just wanted to, you, you want to acknowledge um, Pavel Pagliano. Thank you. So we're going to have the, the, the awardees come up here one at a time in a little bit because um, we...
we have, uh, I think, a certificate for you and some other stuff. Um, but it's important to know, I know that City Councilor Pavel Payano was with us recently. Um, just a round of applause for Pavel for being with us. And also, our chief of police is ever present in all a lot of the community com conversations we're having. The chief's with us. Um, and so, while I figure out what we're going to give you guys, I just want to restate this issue of um, the congresswoman's office. If it wasn't for the help and support of the congresswoman, we wouldn't get these funds. If she wasn't in in, um, in D.C. fighting for us every day, uh, we wouldn't have this money to give to you guys. And so, it's important that. Uh, we make sure that Wanda um, is felt at home here because uh, the Congresswoman sent her in her place. I just want to say thank you for being here again, Wanda, for my coming to the office. So we're going to call you up and just come up and get your. Uh, it's not that big of a check, <laughs> but it's bigger than a regular check. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, you got the idea, right? I mean, it's, A.C.T. Lawrence. I think it's easier for you to do Stay up here for the picture. <laughs> Not my... Thank you. <laughs> um, Roundwork Lawrence. Somebody here from Groundwork? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I get on this side. Elevated thought. Yeah, yeah, come on this side. Large family development. Large family development. Uh, si se puede, si se puede en house. Thank you. The community group. Who's up to the community group? Here you go. Lawrence Community Works. Uh, mi casita. Come on over. <laughs> Pero no te, no te bochones, venga. Venga, no, venga. All right, here you go. Here you go, Steve. Thank you. And last but not least, Lawrence House, our house. Come on over. 